an autistic dentist falls in love with his married patient, and ends up killing her husband. But things go down south when a huge secret is revealed. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. In today's video, we'll recap the events of a 2022 mystery thriller movie, titled Freddy. Let's get right into it. The scene opens with our protagonist, Freddy, waiting for his date in a cafe. When she arrives, he accidentally spills water on the table out of nervousness. Freddy apologizes, but soon after, begins staring at the women's cleavage instead of talking nicely to her. Man, this guy has no game, he needs to watch more Tristan Tate videos. Then, the woman begins asking questions and learns that Freddy has been looking for a wife for the past five years. Freddy wouldn't stop staring at the woman's cleavage, so she makes an excuse and quickly storms out of the place. Poor Freddy returns home and shares the embarrassing story with his pet tortoise, Hardy. The following morning, Freddy goes to work and we see that he is a dentist. After work, he goes home and receives a call from a girl who saw his profile on the dating app. He nervously fixes a date with her and the scene cuts to him again waiting in the cafe. He is rehearsing what he should say when the girl arrives, but she never arrives. He keeps waiting, and everyone in the cafe starts making fun of him. He reluctantly returns home and drinks to soothe his pain. One day, Freddy is at a party with his aunt, where she is telling him to get married as soon as possible. She tells him that a girl in blue is looking at him, so she urges him to approach her. Freddy too likes the girl and nervously approaches her. Turns out, the girl wasn't looking at him at all, and Freddy's aunt lied just so he could have a chance. Despite this, Freddy attempts to keep the conversation going but the girl's husband interrupts them. He shouts at the girl for talking to a man and makes a scene at the party. At night, Freddy keeps thinking about the girl and gets obsessed with her. The following morning, he was in his clinic, when the same girl in blue, Kainas, comes there to get her wisdom tooth removed. When Kainas lies down for a checkup, Freddy's instinct tells him to again look at the girl's cleavage. He somehow controls himself and tells her that she can come tomorrow for extraction. After this, Freddy starts imagining a family with Kainas, and makes it his goal to get with her anyhow. The next day, he eagerly waits for Kainas to come for extraction. He tells her that the process won't be painful at all because she'll be under general anesthesia. Kainas expected the treatment to be under local anesthesia, but Freddy insists that general anesthesia is safer and they proceed with the treatment. After the extraction, he tries to take advantage of the opportunity and whispers I love you in her ear. Luckily, he controls himself and doesn't see or touch her. You know what? Later, Freddy writes her some medicines based on her allergies and tells her to come tomorrow once again for a checkup. There, he asks if he can drive her home, but Kainas politely refuses. Later, Freddy notes Kainas's address from her dental record and goes to stalk her. There, we see that Kainas's husband, Rustone, is actually abusive and he hits her for not cooking dinner. Freddy witnesses this while sitting in his car but he can't do anything and just drives back home. At night, Freddy experiences a nightmare where his mother got shot by his dad because she had an affair. This is actually his trauma. The next day, Kainas doesn't show up for her appointment, and Freddy is really worried for her. He calls her to ask about it and Kainas starts making excuses. He tells her that the checkup is very important today, so they have to meet, even if it's for only 5 minutes. The two decide to meet in a park. There, Freddy is sad to see bruises on Kainas's face and comforts her. He buys her ice cream and Kainas reveals that her husband Rustom owns the biggest restaurant in town, Light of Persia. The two chat a bit more and then head their way. After this, Freddy goes through a complete transformation and begins to dress more youthfully. He again goes to stalk Kainas and sees that Rustom is going for a jog. So he gives Kainas a call and asks about her well-being. Then, he asks if they can meet once again as he has something that will cheer her up. The two meet in a cafe and Freddy gives her a book, The Courage to Heal. They start meeting again and again, and begin practically dating. However one day, Kainas suddenly stops responding to his calls and messages. He starts getting worried and goes to her apartment to see her. Freddy finds Kainas covered in bruises once again and she hugs him while sobbing. Then, Freddy suggests that there is only one way to get out of this. They need to kill Rustom. Kainas is hesitant at first but Freddy soon convinces her as this is their last resort. So one day, Rustom is out on his jog once again and Freddy decides to shoot him with a gun. But he gets nervous and ends up hitting Rustom with his car. He crushes his body many times, so he can be sure that he's dead. Freddy then directly heads to his village where he can get his car cleaned without any suspicion. He returns after a couple of days and directly goes to meet Kainas. The two are delighted to see each other as they can now freely date without any hesitation. However, when Freddy returns the next day, a guy opens the door. Freddy can't understand anything and the guy is revealed to be Raymond, Kainas's boyfriend. Turns out, Kainas used Freddy just to get rid of Rustom and now they have all the proofs that he killed Rustom. So if he tries to do anything, they'll forward all the proof to the police. This scares the daylights out of Freddy, 
and when he doesn't leave, Raymond humiliates him. Kainas reveals that she doesn't like him at all, and Freddy disgusts her. Every time he would touch her, she wanted to throw up. Kainas then gives Freddy the book courage to heal and kicks him out of the house. A broken Freddy gets back to his apartment and starts crying while remembering the moments he spent with Kainas. On the other hand, Kainas reveals to Raymond that her dream of owning the biggest restaurant in the city is finally fulfilled. This is because, with Roostome gone, she is the new owner of Light of Persia. Then, Freddy burns all the clothes and accessories he bought to look good and visits her aunt for comfort. He later goes to the restaurant to see Kainas and asks her to say sorry just once, and he will forget everything. But Kainas and Raymond humiliate him once again instead of apologizing. With that, Freddy begins planning an attack on Kainas. He gets himself a duplicate key to their apartment and gets inside while the couple is gone. He steals Kainas' allergy pills and mixes sleep powder in their food. The couple abruptly returns, so Freddy quickly hides outside the window. He waits for his opportunity and quickly escapes, after which Kainas and Raymond get busy eating. They soon fall asleep and Freddy then enters the apartment again to execute his plan. Firstly, he deletes all the evidence of Rustom's death and sends some messages to his number. He then takes the car keys and messes up its brakes. Freddy releases some of his anger on Raymond and then finally leaves. When Kainas wakes up in the middle of the night, she finds herself covered in allergies and her pills are nowhere to be found. She and Raymond quickly get in their car to head for the hospital, but on their way, the car's brake fails, causing it to derail and crash. The two somehow make it to the hospital and wonder why so many bad things happen to them at once. The following morning, Kainas receives a call from her restaurant manager that the food safety officer has raided their restaurant because a customer found a lizard in his food and posted the incident online. Meanwhile, Freddy enters their apartment and using their laptop, leaks Kainas's intimate pictures online. It doesn't take long for her to realize that Freddy is behind all this as she heads to his apartment with Raymond. There, they start beating Freddy brutally, but the police arrive just in time and intervene. Kainas tells the officer that Freddy is responsible for Rustom's murder and that he attempted to kill them too by messing up their car's brakes. The officer asks for any proof of the allegations and Kainas quickly tries to pull up the photos. However, there are no photos as Freddy got rid of them a while ago. The next day, Freddy returns from work and finds a bullet at his door, indicating that Kainas and Raymond will kill him if he doesn't stop. On top of that, they took Freddy's lovely pet Hardy and cooked it to make a soup. This infuriates Freddy as Hardy was his only friend. He sees in the recording that they actually took Hardy, which breaks his heart. He holds a burial for Hardy and then convinces a beggar to testify that Rustone was killed by Freddy's car. When the police come to him for investigation, he reveals that Kainas borrowed his car and then killed Rustone. He uses the text messages he sent himself as proof and declares Kainas and Raymond murderers. With that, Freddy gives Kainas the ultimatum that either she apologizes or she'll be held responsible for the murder. He asks her to come to the farmhouse in their village where they can settle things. Plus, they need to come with a suitcase as he needs it to carry some things. Kainas and Raymond have no option but to agree with Freddy's demands. They plan on killing him at the farmhouse and soon reach the village. However, Freddy is the one who has prepared a plan for them. Freddy knocks out both of them with a taser, and then ties them up on the dentist chair. Realizing they are about to get tortured, Kainas tries to apologize, but all her efforts go in vain as Freddy can't forget what they did to his pet tortoise. Then, he pulls out all of Raymond's teeth one by one and ultimately kills him. He buries him on the farmhouse and then returns for Kainas. Meanwhile, the police see through CCTV that Kainas and Raymond escaped with a big suitcase, indicating that they fled to avoid getting punished for Rustom's murder. Then, Freddy pulls out Kainas's tooth as she screams in pain. He pulls out all of her teeth and she gets unconscious due to pain. He then drags her unconscious body to the pit and buries her alive. That was it for the recap guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you are notified of our next uploads. Thank you for watching.